Hey guys, today we are going to talk about One Piece. So I am a huge fan of One Piece, uh, in case you do not know. Uh, one of my first anime figures was of Nami. I have a very expensive Boa Hancock in a wedding dress anime figure. Uh, not as expensive as this booster box, but something like, I mean, maybe when I bought it, it was that much and it's gone probably up in price. But in you know, One Piece, uh, One Piece, I used to watch it with my roommates at NYU. Uh, sophomore year, I had a great roommate. His name was Kevin, and he was really into Naruto. I was really into One Piece. We'd have incredibly long discussions as NYU students. We don't really have much going on, right? About which one anime would do better. So uh, definitely, uh, definitely very interesting. And shout out to Kevin. So I've been a fan of One Piece. I've actually opened some of these cards. I get them in blister packs. I get them because my distributor has them. And whenever he has extras, he just sells it to me for $4 a pack, which is relatively good given the secondary market on these. You can also buy them at five below for $5. And many times when we're hunting for squish, I will buy these packs at five below for $5. So I have accumulated a large collection of One Piece just from my random distributor dropping off some to me. And also, and I open them all. I don't resell any of them. You know, I'm not in the resale game. I open them all. I have a good time with them. And I enjoy, you know, I actually have uh, this Nami, which I pulled when the set first came out. And I have like, uh, I, that was kind of my chase card that I was trying to pull in Romance Dawn. That being said, now I'm going to drop the hammer One Piece the Romance Dawn booster box, and I think a lot of the other booster boxes are very, very highly priced. Um, like, you can buy these at five below sometimes. Again, not every time, and people do try to buy them out and then resell them on Facebook Marketplace. It's not easy to always get them, but when you can get them, you no know, people do resell them. I believe, and this is kind of my assumption of what's happening, is people always, like, after the COVID thing, They've always been looking to pump and dump stuff. And now that MetaZoo Flesh and Blood is out of the pump and dump range, MetaZoo is in bankruptcy right now, right? That's pretty much, it's pretty relevant. Locana is also dropping in price. I also still a $1,000 card. Really glad I pulled one. But uh, a lot of times I look at the booster box price and I'm like, how is this $500? This is a relatively new game. And the only booster box I've seen this new would be MetaZoo Nightfall Edition, right? Where people are trying to sell that for $500. And we saw how that turned out. So I've just been steadily enjoying the game on my own. Uh, the Sniffing Otter is not a big fan of One Piece, right? But, you know, she does know the characters. And she knows who Nami and Robin are. And Luffy. And it's a fun thing to do. We just open some packs and, you know... Again, I haven't watched any of the new stuff or read any of the new stuff, so I don't know who Yamato is. Uh, I've watched up till, like, end of college, and then I just didn't have time to really watch that much anime, which is funny because I still collect the anime figures. Many of these characters, I have no idea who they are. I just enjoy the figure itself. So One Piece was a pump and dump, uh, at least Romance Dawn. I think a lot of people always are looking for the next pump. If it's not Pokemon... You know, 151, a lot of people were disappointed when that was reprinted and something else. We, we got to continuously pump, and they're continuously looking for the next pump and dump. And I've tried to avoid it. I, I really do. I, I love One Piece. I play One Piece. I collect it. Uh, my local game store, actually, the one closest to me, actually has One Piece tournaments if I ever do want to play more competitively. Uh, than just with the significant other. That's the, basically it's a game that we enjoy together. I think the artwork is very good. I think the IP is incredible. This is not MetaZoo. This is definitely not MetaZoo. Um, even if One Piece were to die today, which again I'm not obviously not going to happen, it would um, end up more like Inuyasha, where you do have very strong bids. And I'm trying to buy any asset collection right now, and there is leverage because the person is leveraging me back and say, "Nah, that's too low. I don't want to buy it," or "Hey, that's too low. I don't want you know to sell it to you for that low." So, in all reality, One Piece is a, a very—it's a strong IP that will survive for a long time. 
but that doesn't mean that it's five hundred dollars a booster box. That doesn't mean that you should be paying that, and they shouldn't be reprinting stuff. At the end of the day, Bandai's got to do what Bandai's got to do. This is the same company that did both uh, Dragon Ball Z and Digimon. So if you follow Digimon, I know they reprint a shit ton, and they drop case after case on something like Dave and Adams on distributor card shop, depending on what you want to find it as. And then they sell it online on the website for half off upon pre-release. It's like a brand new set and it's half off. It's um a little weird, right? Like, you know, you expect at least it could hold its price for a little bit of time. But David Adams is notorious for dropping um, dropping um, these sets and just at massive discounts upon release. That's kind of what they are known for doing. So I think One Piece has a future. Yeah. Do I think this was a pump and dump? Yeah, you can you can believe both. I think both of this stuff is true. Uh, One Piece right now on David Adams is selling for five hundred dollars a booster box from seven hundred and fifty a booster box. Limit two per person. No one's gonna buy it because you can get on TCG player for so much less money, right? It's just not even it's not even funny, right? How much? I guess some people, David Adams, are trying to sell it for seven hundred and fifty dollars a booster box because that's the price point they have it at, and then they discount it. You're probably a little bit behind. Probably didn't realize it got dumped. So, like I said, you can love something, but then you can also feel like it's not worth buying at the current price point. And then my suggestion is just wait. If it was really good to buy it for cost. At the five below, and I hope and people think, oh, do you buy all? No, I always like buy a few. I don't buy a ton, right? I just we're buying, we're going there mainly to hunt squishmallows, uh, and we buy probably like anywhere between three or five squishmallows and Hello Kitty plush. But on on the way, you know, many times they do have at least one location. Uh, often does probably fifty percent of the time has one piece cards. And they're very much stocked. They're stocked and they put them up in front and then you can take a look at it and then you can buy them from the front. And they're $5 a pack, which I think is pretty pretty reasonable in my opinion. So one piece, pump and dump, yes, but at the end of the day, it will survive. It will do very well. But $500 a box like MetaZoo, it's not worth that. And I don't think anyone should be paying that amount of money. Uh, in my opinion, for that particular set, because I, I don't know what, how you're going to get the money back. It's only going to go down in price, right? So anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Was One Piece a pump and dump? And are you still investing in One Piece? Bye, guys.